All right, hello, and welcome to this recording. So you've made it. We are at the final um, destination for the first semester. We are on our semester review, which is fantastic. We have covered so much information this semester, um, so you should be super proud of yourself. Two things that we need to go over. First of all, what do you need to do for uh, your studying and the importance of the study guide? So let's go ahead and start with the first. Um, time for a pat on the back. Drum roll, please. Here's your drum roll. Da, 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 da. Take a look at this. Everything that you have learned in this first semester. I could go on and read that, but that would take me probably a half hour. So um, I just wanted to put this up on the screen so you can recognize how much you've learned this semester. Um, you know, definitely a pat on the back. You should be super proud of yourself and um, excited that you've uh, gotten to study all of this great information for history. So with that being said, this is a, a quick look at what we're going to be doing this month. Um, so on December 9th, we are rolling out the semester assessment information, which is this. And then the 10th and 11th and 12th, we're going to actually go through the OMS and do review. You can take a look on your own at that. Uh, there's 9.01, 9.02, 9.03 is your choice activity. And then 9.04 is the actual test. So uh, each day this week, the 10th, 11th, 12th, we'll be working in class. We'll be going over some review on the OMS, and OMS is, remember, online middle school. And then you will have some independent work time to complete your study guide, and, and I'll talk about how important your study guide is here in a minute. And then on Friday, uh, the 13th, you will have independent work time. There will be no class session, but you will be expected to work on your own. The next week, the semester assessment will actually open on December 16th. So you will have time during class to either start your assessment or continue to work on your study guide. You, it's not due on Monday. So if your study guide is not complete, please don't feel like you have to take the assessment on December 16th. It is not due until December 20th. So basically you have two full weeks to study for this semester assessment and it's a big one. It's worth 345 points. So I would expect that you take at least a week, if not two weeks, to complete your study guide. Um, and we will just have class time next week to work on that. There won't be any additional lessons being taught. And then the semester assessment will be due on Friday, December 20th. Uh, if it's not done by 11.30 a.m., then zeros will be put in. Uh, the zeros will not stand. If you complete your, your assessment after that, your grade will still be whatever points you get. But I wanted to be able to put those zeros in on December 20th. So before you leave for break, if you don't have your assessment done, You'll see what that will do to your grade if you don't finish it. And then if you look um, down here on the bottom, the actual semester test closes on January 10th at 5 p.m. So technically, you have two weeks to do your study guide. It's due on December 20th, but really it's the, the assignment will not close until January 10th. So you actually have a full month um, to complete this assessment. So if, if you don't get it done by the 20th, it's okay. Work over break on your study guide. Um, you know, really look for the information and then you can complete your assessment when, we, when you return from break. Uh, just make sure that it is finished by January 10th at 5 p.m. After that, you will no longer be able to access um, the assessment. OK, so like I said, when we review on our OMS, this is on your plan already. If you take a look, uh, 9.01 is a review over units one, two, three and four. And then 9.02 is a review over units five, six and seven. On the final assessment, you will not have anything on this last unit that we did, the economics uh, government mini unit. There will not be anything about that specific unit on your final assessment. OK, so when we review in class on Tuesday and Wednesday, this is what we will be going over. These two things in your OMS and then you'll have independent time to work on your study guide. Now, where do you find the answers for your study guide? Well, take a look here. This is an exact screenshot from your study guide. OK. So for example, question number three, who does this describe? Okay, take a look on pages 110 through 111. You're going to find the answer, all right? Number four, what movement stress the wisdom of the classics, the dignity of people and human potential? Take a look on page 33. You are going to find the answer there. Number five, the book, The Prince, pages 88 to 89, who wrote it? Okay, again, the page numbers are listed there for you. Make sure that you are using them to find the correct answers. And if you think you know the answer, have at it. Put it in there. 
Don't check in the book. Go through this. You know, do it as you will. And then go back to check your answers. Okay? You don't have to look for the answers right away in the book. If you think you know it, try it out. And then go back and check it. Okay? These questions, now here's the big part. Okay? Are you listening? Drum roll again. These questions are in the exact order that they are on your test. They are very, very, very close, if not the exact questions that you will see on your test. So why is this so important? Because once you complete your study guide, you will basically have um, your test sitting in front of you, your completed test sitting in front of you, okay? So once you complete that study guide and you've checked your answers, that is when you will be done studying for your semester assessment. And then once the semester assessment opens, so next Monday, which is the 16th, you will be able to take your test. If you do not have your study guide done, again, please do not take the test just because it opens on the 16th. Wait to take your semester assessment or your semester test until this study guide is done. The study guide is super important, all right? It, like I said, I'm basically giving you the test. It is the test. Um, and I'm not giving you the answers per se, but I'm giving you places to find the answer. So those of you that were here from the beginning of the year, this should all be review for you. This should all be very familiar to you. It should be review. Um, those of you that just came in in you know, end of September, middle of October, end of October, you will have to go back and maybe reread some of this information. But the information is all there. Look on the page numbers, okay? It's all there for you. If you need to review any of the readings, they're all posted in our class Padlet. They're also posted in your lessons. So even though, let's say unit three, for example, is closed, the assessments are closed, but all of the content and information is still there. So you can go back and look in unit three and you can have someone read that to you. It's posted in there. Um, I did some readings, the, the first part of the, the couple first units, and then Ms. Huffstetler has been reading them ever since then. So the readings are posted in your lesson. So if you, know, if you say, well, it's kind of hard for me to read, I'm not sure, follow along as it's being read to you, okay? So you can definitely do that. Um, so what uh, you should be doing this week and next, you need to use both class time and independent time, time to study for the semester assessment. It is worth 345 points. Yikes, that's a lot, right? There are 69 questions. Uh, it may seem like a lot, but like I said, you have the rest of the semester to work on it. The semester assessment is due December 20th, but it will not close until January 10th, so you have some time. Um, don't be a procrastinator. Wait till the very end, uh, and also don't feel like you have to get it all done in one day. So you've, you've got some time. Use it wisely. Uh, the questions on your test look very similar, if not identical, eh, eh, wink, wink, right, to the questions on your study guide. Um, and they're in the exact same order. So it's not like you, you know, fill out number one on your study guide and then you're like, oh, where is this on the semester assessment? Or you fill out number 10, you're like, eh, where is this? It's going to go in the direct order. So once you finish your study guide, you're going to be able to open up your test and your OMS and you're basically going to be able to take your answers from your study guide and put it almost directly into your test. Okay, it really is going to be that easy. As long as you do the work, you're going to do just fine in this. Um, super important, your study guide is required to complete. I am not going to check it. How will I know if you've completed your study guide? I'll see your good grade on your final assessment. If you have lower than a C on your final assessment, I will know that you did not complete your study guide. Okay, so it is super important that you have this study guide completed. I am not going to grade it, but your grade will be reflected in your in your um, uh, semester assessment, in your in your test. So make sure that it's done. Ask your learning coach to check it. Ask your learning coach to go through you know it for you. If you're having some troubles there, maybe if your learning coach can or, you know, is unable to help you, ask me in class. I'm not going to give you the answers. I certainly will not give you the answers because that would be like me giving you the answers on the test. But I will say, hey, listen, you don't have questions five through eight done. Or, um, you know, you might not understand this concept on humanism. Let's go back and take a look at these pages. Okay. So it's very important that you are getting um, guidance from either your, your learning coach or from, you know, your teacher. Okay. When your assessment is complete, your study guide will be, uh, you'll be ready and you'll be prepared for the um, assessment, okay? Again, what I will and will not help you with, um, the questions in the study guide are the test questions, therefore I will not give you the answers. Um, I will, however, help you to understand the concept. So again, you don't understand reformation? All right, let's go back and take a look at this uh, unit. What was that, two or three or I can't remember. Um, let's go back and take a look at this unit and let's see if I can help you to understand it, okay? So please come to class prepared to ask your questions or just to listen for review. 
We will review the first week, December 9th through 12th. And then the second week, for the most part, will be an open class, almost like open office hours, where you can just come and work in a quiet classroom. Okay. Um, I think on the 19th, we have a class party. So we probably will not do much work in class that day. But the, the beginning of the week, we will just kind of have independent time for you to come, a quiet place for you to come study. Okay. Um, I'm not going to hand this out right at this second on this recording, but it is posted on your OMS. It is posted under 9.04. You will see it there. I will also have it posted in your uh, lesson plan. I will have it posted um, on our Padlet. It will be posted within the lesson. It will be sent out during class. There's going to be a zillion places you can find this study guide. So there'll be no excuses. Hey, Mrs. Edgar, where do I get this study guide? You will find it. <laughs> I will have it posted pretty much everywhere. Okay. Um, I will have a Word, Word document. If you want to just open up on your computer, type in the answers. There's a PDF document. Sometimes it doesn't print off very well if it's in Word. Um, so feel free to use the PDF document, whatever you would prefer to do. Okay. And again, um, this is a slide that I'm going to use in class. So obviously it's a recording. So you will be able to log out when I'm finished with this uh, recording if you're watching it outside of class. But if you are watching it in class, make sure you stay in class time. Look through your OMS. Look through your study guide. Ask your questions now. Um, not specific questions. Not, hey, Mrs. Edgar, what's the answer to number five? But questions like, you know, can you tell me again how to do this? All right. So I am here to help you succeed. I, I want you to get an A on this test. I have provided every opportunity for you to get an A on this test. And for those of you that, um, you know, want to boost your grade, this is the way to do it. 345 points, boys and girls. That's a lot of points. So for those of you that, that you know, maybe have a lower grade in history and you've, you know, missed a couple assessments in the past that have closed and you're like, hey, Mrs. Edgar, is there extra credit? How can I bring my grade up? Right here. Bam. This is how you do it. Okay, so do well on your study guide and you will do well on your final assessment. Okay, all right, that is all I have for you right now. Uh, I will see you in class and thanks for watching. Have a great day.